So welcome to my channel and today I want to film my October favorites even though it's already the beginning of November but I wanted to show a couple of products I've been loving since last month and sorry I haven't been filming that much but it's because of school and work so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to mention in my October favorites is a couple of favorite channels that I've been watching since I've been away. And the first one is Teresa Bubbles, and I absolutely love, love, love her videos. They are amazing, and she's so sweet, and she's very kind. And I just can't be thankful enough to have found her and I just really, really, really adore her. She's amazing. So if you haven't subscribed to her, I'm going to be leaving a link down below so you can check her out. She does short reviews at a distant time and her videos are amazing. So please, please check her out. The second one I have mentioned before, but she is absolutely stunning with her videos. And her name is Juicy Road. And her videos are like an art form creation of how she films. And I'll leave a link down below so you can subscribe to her too. Because they both deserve so much love. And... You guys go, go, go check them out right now. Okay, so to mention a couple of beauty products that I've been loving is quite a little bit, but I'll mention them anyway. So the first thing I'm looking at is my NYC Indiv Individual Ice Palette in Fall Makeover. I got this at Amazon a couple of months ago, like for a decent pricing, like five dollars with free shipping. And the colors here are absolutely amazing. You get four shadows and a primer and illuminator. But the shadows are absolutely stunning. Here they are on my hand swatch. The two lighter shades are very light and sheer, but with a primer, they'll show up much stronger like this. And I just can't recommend NYC palettes enough. I have like a dozen of these, so I recommend you guys buy these if you can. I have another NYC product, and this is their foundation that I have been loving. And it's the Smooth Skin Liquid Makeup in Nude. And the formula to this is very thick. It smells kind of good. And I'm actually wearing it. And it just brings a very natural finish on my face when I wear this. It has no SPF. But because it's very thick, nothing comes out. But nothing like putting it upside down to bring the product down will help a lot. So... And yeah, I, I love this foundation, so. So I have a couple of ColourPop eyeshadows. And they're called the Super Shock Shadows. Um, I have three of them that I purchased a while ago. And a couple of these are from YouTube collaborations, like these. And this one is called XO. And it's such a pretty shimmery champagne color. Really love that. I have another one, and this one is called Coralinius. And it's like a matte brown, perfect for an all over shade lid. And 
And the last one is their fall collection, and this one is in Central Park. It reminds me of Central Park, which I absolutely love. I have like a light swatch with that shade right over here. And you could build it up to make it dark like this, but I absolutely love it. So, favorite brushes that I've been using all of last month was these. And this one is the e.l.f. powder brush. It's pretty dirty because I use it to buff my foundation in. And it's so soft. And only for $3. It's a great deal. So, love that. And this one is from Wet n Wild, and it's their blush brush that I only got for a dollar or something like that on Rite Aid or something. And it's love these brushes, my go to. So, Fair Mascara is my Full Lash Bloom, the CoverGirl one, and I have the one in shade Black Brown. I did a sample review on this and I absolutely love how it gives my lashes like some definition when I look up you guys can see of course I love my Revlon eyelash curler can't live without this thing better than my NYC one that I, that I have used but I just love this one for lip colors I've been using these and I've been getting a habit of trying to use up products that I've I've been keeping on the side because I think they're too nice to use, but you have to use your products. Oh, and this one smells like strawberries. Anyway, this one is a Sephora lip gloss in Passionate Dance. It's a crystal gloss, and I'm wearing it right now on my lips. It's pretty much pigmented with this color, but I love, love, love the scent to this one. And it's not sticky at all. I remember getting this for like 4 or $5 a couple of months ago, and that's the swatch of this. Absolutely my favorite. And for a lipstick, as my Revlon Super Luscious Lipstick. And rose velvet. I absolutely love this. This is like a creamy rose mauvey color. Very moisturizing. Love wearing this when I go to work. So that's the swatch right there. Okay, so I want to mention some music favorites I've been loving. And one of them is Harry Connick Jr. And he's a jazz artist, and I absolutely love his songs. Even though he's considered like back in the day now, because he's been around since the early 2000s. And one of the songs I absolutely love is called We Are In Love. And it's this one right here. And he's just absolutely stunning. I love his music if you guys love the jazzy kind of moods like with music you guys would love him the next artist that i absolutely have become obsessed with not literally but with her songs is in the modern world and her name is megan trainer and she's absolutely the best I love her song, like, I'm Going to Lose You. That is just one of the songs. It's, like, better than Hello by Adele. I'm sorry for saying that, but Adele's new song is not what I'm into right now. Not what I'm liking. And Megan actually has, like, a new song from the Snoopy new movie that I want to see. And... It's called Better When I'm Dancing, and that's another song that I love. So, basically that's what I love right now. And a bunch of the 80s music, like Brian Adams and stuff. 
Hey, did you guys hear that Gilmore Girls is going to have a new season on Netflix next year? I'm absolutely thrilled and I was so excited that uh, like I'm a team Jess person, not a team Dean or Logan. And I found this screenshot from Instagram and it's just absolutely cute, like team Jess all the way. So I guess that's all of my October favorites. It's not that much, but it's been a year since I last did a favorite, which was in October to be exact. So that's it. I hope that you liked it and I will make videos uh, very actively this month since it is November and it's much more of a break for me right now. So. I'll see you guys when I see you.